My name is Caitlin Murphy and I'm a Northern Irish maker based in Glasgow. The collection that I will be showing with Shine um, was developed and made during my time at the Glasgow School of Art. It was part of my degree show collection. This is my home wrench that was literally my lifeline during lockdown. Uh, it was a time when a lot of us had to spend a lot of time in our bedrooms and I found it was really important to have a creative outlet where you could get back into that flow state and let the time pass. And a lot of my work I can see has developed from my time in lockdown. I work a lot with digital design and using my computer. So I was generating a lot of patterns on my laptop, printing them out on paper, doing my model, and then remaking it in metal. And sort of that whole process was great throughout the collection. There's always that process of paper to metal and trying it in paper again and back to metal and just that moving between it. And it, yeah, that whole conversation between material and maker was really exciting for me. I feel like with all of my collection, I see them as a group. So I sort of designed them with the idea of still life paintings in mind and how you can rearrange and move them around. And for me, it was never just the table as a, a plane. I saw the wall as an extension of that table and how the work can move not only between maybe your table or your mantelpiece or whatever it may be, but also situate on the wall as a still life painting. You know, I was really inspired by the likes of Bridget Riley with the illusions. This is the Weave XL piece. Um, it is based on optical illusions and still life paintings. It's the idea that you can have a 3D metal painting for your wall um, and you can arrange it in whatever way you desire. Um, so it has a 360 viewpoint. For me, I genuinely just love being a maker. It sounds silly, but I, when I go into the workshop, I feel like I just have this sigh of relief. And then all of a sudden you just enter the flow state and I could be working away and then look up at the clock and three hours have passed and I'd be none the wiser. Like, I feel like it's, it's something that I find really therapeutic and really meditative almost. 